The number one reason internal alchemy fails is lack of foundation. So let's take a look at what foundation is and how do we build it. Building foundation is a multi-dimensional process. It we need to take into account the mental, physical, and most importantly, the energetic parts of ourself. Um, let's start with the energetic. So internal alchemy is a process of accumulation. We accumulate energies inside the body to get certain things done. Um, if we are not able to accumulate those energies, then we won't be able, we won't have success with internal alchemy. It's, it's just that simple. Uh, and so building foundation for internal alchemy is, is a lot like we create a container. We make sure that container is big enough, strong enough, and most importantly, that it's sealed to be able to hold the, ener the energetic substances Right, uh, and so um, to do that for 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 um, Wang Li Ping's system of internal alchemy, uh, which is what I teach, uh, we have a specific range of um, techniques and methods that we can draw from to do that. There is not a um, a specific sequence of techniques and methods that we use, uh, just because everybody's body and everybody. Is different and so it really depends on who you are where you're at and what you need in that specific time so what we have is we have basically like a big toolbox and this toolbox uh, we call the insian methods the insian fa and the insian methods um, are a, a massive collection of, of, uh, of, of techniques methods and principles that we use uh, throughout the alchemical process um, but very much at the beginning uh, they are used for building foundation, for laying foundation, zhu ji, right? And uh, within this big toolbox, there's lots of little, lots of little techniques we can use, right? They got these tools, and the tools are base are usually done in, in sitting meditation. So we, we cross the legs, go into sitting meditation, uh, and we apply. Um, these various techniques, right? And the techniques are basically, can be categorized into three different types. The first type is Huan Yuan Fa or Huan Yuan Gong, which means to return to our original state, okay, our original healthy state. Uh, the second category are um, used to seal energetic leakages in the body. Xiu Wu Lo, right? Or you can also call it um, Bu Lo Fa or Bu Lo Gong. Uh, it just means to seal up the, the body. And so these might be techniques like body pore breathing, where we contract and expand the body and, and those sort of things. Um, and then the third uh, category of, of, uh, of the Insian methods is building foundation. And building foundation is um, the most important thing it does is make sure we have enough uh, of the three internal treasures, the san bao, the nei san bao, the, the jing, qi, shen, right? the essence, energy, and, sh and spirit. Um, and these three internal treasures are basically just a kind of a poetic way of, of saying our internal energy. And these energies are, um, we can, there's different kinds of energies within the body. And for alchemists, we generally, uh, characterize those energies into three different types um, and they can be seen um, on a, a continuum from coarse, coarser, more dense, um, uh, more dense uh, energy, the jing, the essence, which is most closely associated with the physical body. It supports the physical body, right? And then as we, as we start going up, we go, we have the qi, which is energy. Uh, and then above that, we have shen, which is usually translated as spirit, um, uh, which is a, f a very fine uh, frequency of energy associated with consciousness, with our awareness and consciousness. Um, but they're a continuum, right? So it's all one thing. Now, what we want is we want a lot of all of that, right? Not just the jing. The jing is important. It's a good starting point for refining 
right, upwards. But we can also start with a shen, right? And because the more shen we have, the more more qi we'll have. The more qi we'll have, the more ting we'll have. We can also invert that process, right? Uh, and, and different lineages will approach that from, from different perspectives. So with what I teach and with what Wang Liping teaches, uh, we, we like to start more with a shen and, and come down to accumulate more qi and then more jing inside the body. And doing sitting meditation is a great way to start that process. We, we gather in, uh, we sit quietly, we close the eyes, we, we bring the shen into the body, right? Shen is our, the energy associated with our awareness. So even just focusing our awareness on our body will allow our shen to come back. This kind of shen called the shi shen, the spirit of recognition, come back into our body, which then begins transforming into yuan shen, our original spirit, but also begins creating qi, right? So the more shen we have inside, oh, the more qi we'll have inside. The more qi we have inside, the more ding you have inside, right? The, the internal three treasures. That's what building foundation really is about, is, 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 is using these various tools, techniques, methods, to be able to create more of these substances uh, inside the body, right? To replenish them um, uh, and, and accumulate them, right? And once we have enough of them inside, then, and, o- and only then, we can start the actual uh, in- techniques of internal alchemy. Uh, and you want to get to a point where you can, you can actually feel your, your jing energy, the vibration of your jing energy, the movement of your jing energy inside the body. You have a substance you can, you can feel and, and work with. Right? Until that point, uh, you just keep applying the insian methods, the, the found, building foundation methods, uh, and, and, until you get to that point. Um, now, I should say at this point that building foundation is also done, and, and the INSEAN methods are also done later on in the alchemical process. So it's not just uh, something we do initially, foundation, building foundation, not just something we do initially, and then once we have it done, okay, swanla, uh, I'm sorry, uh, and then we forget about it and just go on to other, other uh, the, the next the next stages, right? So I think about this stuff in Chinese, so sometimes it just pops out. Uh, so. Um, it's something, building foundation is something you do throughout the whole process. So for example, once you start doing internal, uh, internal alchemy, nay dan proper, uh, you, each day you'll go into a session and at the beginning of that session, you're going to build foundation within the session. You're going to, to make sure that your chi, you have enough chi, right, in the body and it's in the right spot before you start applying internal alchemy, right? Uh, so these, these are techniques we carry with us over the whole course of our practice and even at the end, right? So building foundation techniques, uh, the INSEAN methods, include the method for bathing and cleansing, which is um, basically doing st- uh, quiet sitting or silent sitting uh, to nourish the, either the, the elixir or the embryo or whatever the work we've done in the internal alchemy session afterwards to allow it to, to have come to fruition. Uh, in other words, building foundation, is, is, we, it, it's important and we use it throughout, right? And so that's, 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 that's building foundation from the perspective of Wang Liping's lineage and internal alchemy. Um, I won't go into the techniques and methods, uh, there's other resources for that. Uh, but found, I've found for myself and for my, um, when I teach students and for people I practice with that foundation is more than just that. There is more we can do um, to build foundation. So looking at foundation from a, a, a a, a broader, more general perspective, not just internal alchemy building foundation, right? And this applies to Wang Liping as well, right? And, and his journey in terms of learning this stuff, my teacher. Uh, and so when we start looking at it more broadly, there are things that we um, need to do, I think, uh, for the physical body and for our mind, right? So let's start with the mind. The more still and stable the mind is, the more, um, the m- <laughs> I'm losing my words here, the more we'll get out of internal alchemy, right? And so foundation 
from a broad perspective, does include that mental stability. And so one way that we can um, work with uh, developing mental stability, I think probably the best way is just uh, silent sitting, jing zuo. Um, shou xin jing zuo, to, to gather in the mind and just sit, sit, sit quietly, which is part of the yin methods as well. So it's in there as well, right? Um, but just working on that stability of mind, excuse me, and that includes emotions as well, right? Uh, desires, emotions, um, not being overrun by emotions and, and, and being um, hauled around by our desires, right? Uh, becoming becoming the, the emperor of our domain, right? This is something that, that Wang Li Ping talks a lot about is in internal alchemy, in Taoist practice, Taoist cultivation in general, we need to learn to become the emperor of our, of our realm uh, and, and not have things um, impact us, but allow us to control our world, right? Uh, and make things so, as opposed to, uh, um, you know, things happening to us and we're just reacting to the world, right? So it's taking ownership, um, becoming a sovereign of our domain. Uh, and that's, that's, that's another part of, of, of developing mental um, uh, foundation. Uh, physical foundation. Now for physical foundation, um, and this is, 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 is very important for Taoist practice. The body is very important for Taoist practice with internal alchemy because you're working with um, uh, a lot of energetic pressure and um, intense energetic phenomena. You need to have a physical container that's going to be able to survive it, right? It can be... <laughs> it survive sounds a little extreme, but at least you're going to be able to hold it, right? Uh, and so the stronger and more open... Uh, uh, um, our physical body is, the better, right? So for the Taoist, strength is not enough. Strength is good, right? We want to have a strong body. But if your body is really tight and inflexible, that it becomes... Uh, from the Taoist perspective, that's not what we want, right? Because it, that shuts energy down. Like if you have an, a ripped six-pack, you know, uh, which yeah, I don't... Um, <laughs> uh, it, 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 will, it, will, it will shut down ch the chi, right? And it won't allow us to, to um, develop the right kind of physical body. So it's not just enough to, 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 to uh, exercise the body. We want to exercise it in the right way, right? And something we're looking for is, is um, song. It's a, in Chinese, the word song, which is it's a body that uh, uh, it's flexible, but song is more than just flexible, right? Song is also, it's, there's little tension, right? Tension has been um, released from the body, right? So it's like, it's like if you boil a chicken, right? And you boil it for a long time and then the meat just kind of falls off the bone. It's kind of like that experience, right? You, you're, you want to get to a point with your physical body where uh, it's open and relaxed, Right, the, the, the chest is open, the, the spine is open, the joints are open. And I've found for myself that the, the, the best way to do that is um, internal martial arts. So Tai Chi, uh, Bagua Zhang, Xin Yi Quan, Liu He Bafa. I really like Liu He Bafa. Um, and these are, these are uh, very powerful, in-depth practices in their own right and, and a lifetime of practice, right? Um, but they, they can they can be a, a really um, excellent companion for internal alchemy practice, right? Um, now, if you're not if that's not not your you're not your jam, I get it. You know, I mean, there's maybe you you you'd rather just um, do something a little more gentle. You don't like the martial stuff. I get that. Uh, you know, you could look at various qigong practices. Um, or even just something more prosaic, like like getting exercise, right? Walking, um, you know, uh, whatever that looks like for you. Yoga. I have a, a student who 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 was able to um, condition his physical body very, really, uh, really well with yoga. He found a really good yoga teacher online, and when he first started with me, he could hardly sit cross-legged. His knees were, you know, kind of up around his ears, you know. <laughs> I was there too when I started. Oh man, I was so inflexible, and uh, you know, um, I had a, I had a, I had a kid, uh, and so I took nine months off from from teaching. Came back to my teaching, saw him nine months later, and 
he was good. His legs had completely opened up and he was in his 50s, you know, uh, and he just found a really good yoga teacher. So, it, it, you know, look around, find something that works for you. But what we what I think we, we want to know is that you want strength. Yes, but also flexibility uh, and not just flexibility, but song, and that's a little trickier and also openness. You want your body to be think open, right? Expansive, especially inside. Right. Um, I was really lucky uh, that when I started doing internal alchemy with Wang Liping, I was also training. Um, I had a, a Wu family uh, Tai Chi teacher who helped me with it. There's a special indoor Wu family um, training they do with uh, microcosmic orbit that really, really helped me. Now, their microcosmic orbit is very different from anything else I've seen in, in, in books or online here in the West. It was very physical. And it was opening up the spine one vertebrae at a time, but not definitely not using your imagination. This was this was you were you were actually engaging the the soft tissue that runs up the spine, and to do that you need to first relax and open the lower area because that's all connect the spine right the, to the back of the spine. So to open up the spine, you also got to open up the front, right? And it was incredible. I mean, I I think within I. I um, I worked on it a fair bit with him and I was able, to, I could feel over days, weeks, months of, of practicing it. It's like the inside of my pelvis and, and the lower abdominal cavity just opened right up. And it was a sense of space inside that I could then just drop straight down into in a way I could never before. Um, and so that kind of conditioning is really, really helpful for internal alchemy. It, it, it was just one of those synchronistic events that happened. I had, I was doing internal alchemy, but then this other practice really helped, helped me get the other one. Right. And, um, so I think it's, so this is, I think it's important. I think, and this is why I wanted to share it today. It's, you know, just sort of share some of my experiences and, and, and some of the theory from my lineage in terms of. Um, how we go about with, in, with foundation training for internal alchemy. And I think the other thing is it's not talked much about. Like when I look around kind of online and, 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 and books, some teachers know it for sure, but it's not talked a lot about. And I think that's, that's kind of too bad because I think it is important. You know, we, we do need the foundation. We do need to work on foundation. And it can take years and years to develop. Um, um, and it doesn't mean we can't play around with the internal alchemy. For our system, you don't need to first do master the foundation training before starting um, Nei Dan. You can, you can do them in tandem. Um, my sense is you, 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 you do want to, but you do need to think about foundation, right? You do need to think about where your foundation is lacking um, and, and where you have room to improve. And there's a lot more to foundation training than what I've talked about so far today. And I think I'll leave that stuff out. Um, but just briefly, um, there's Hui um, Guo, which is uh, repentance, Taoist repentance training, which is just basically dealing with all your past karmic baggage. Um, that's a part of foundation training, right? Cleaning all that out, right? Um, any sort of reincarnation energy that's, that's, that's inside. Um, but then again, if when you start working with internal alchemy, uh, it'll it'll it it will help with the uh, repentance training as well. And then lastly, I just wanted to end with there are different body types as well that will require a different approach. So if if you're a um, um, you know you're 15 years old, you're, you have a certain body type. Uh, you have a lot of a lot of energy inside. You don't really need to do foundation training, right? In terms of internal alchemy foundation training, the the, the technical use of the term, right? You can just go straight into Nei Dan. Um, but once uh, once the aging process happens, and for men uh, ejaculation, uh, and for women menstruation, right? There is a depletion that will happen. And because internal alchemy is a process of accumulation, uh, we need to deal with, with that as well. Now, if you're older, 50s, 60s, 70s, um, uh, 80s, uh, 
uh, you can do internal alchemy. There are students of Wang Liping that in the 80s, that started in their 80s and, and had incredible results with it. But you will need to spend more time on foundation training. And even before you start the foundation training, um, the Insian methods, you will need to um, replenish uh, your qi and the, and the blood, right? So for women, it was more focused on, on replenishing the blood, and for, for men, more focused on the qi, just because our, our bodies are different hormonally and energetically. Uh, but I think that whole discussion, I'll just leave for another time. Um, or put it into one of my books. So I have the, the Taoist Alchemy of Wang Liping, Volume 2. I'll go into much more detail uh, about, um, foundation training for internal alchemy. And Volume 1 um, uh, has, a, has a chapter on foundation training as well. So if you're looking for more resources, check out my books. Uh, or uh, there's lots of other resources online and, and with other teachers as well. Um, my main takeaway is foundation is important. If you want to do internal alchemy, start working on your foundation. Even if you don't have a teacher for internal alchemy, start working on foundation. And if you have a, a master for internal alchemy, you've, you've, done, you've, you've, you're, you've been working with the techniques a lot, uh, but you're not, you're not quite getting the traction that you would like, then maybe look at your foundation. See if the foundations, see what's going on there, right? Okay, well, thanks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the talk. Again, as always, um, leave, leave comments. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback or you have your own suggestions for foundation training. Uh, um, yeah, there, there's so much knowledge out there, right? And the more we can pool this knowledge together, uh, the more we can level up the whole collective, right? Um, because these practices are awesome. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.